A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, life could have been very different for the Star Wars crew if 3D printing and biology intersected. Darth Vader may still have lost his limbs in an epic Jedi battle, but the recovery would not have resulted in the iconic life support armor. Instead, <coughs> tissue engineers like me could have treated his wounds with engineered skin and 3D printed maneuverable arms. Right now, we're able to create flat tissues, like the skin or bladder. However, we have not yet been successful in more complex structures like the heart or liver, mostly because if the cells in these organs are further away from blood than just a width of human hair, these cells will die. To engineer more complex structures, we must consider how to include blood vessels to deliver nutrients and carry away waste. While 3D printing offers the potential to manufacture living tissues with built-in spaces for large blood vessels, this technology is not capable of printing small capillaries that are also essential for organ survival. I use selected stem cells in a controlled environment to create capillaries which can connect to larger printed vessels. In this way, I'll have both large and small vessels that organs so desperately need. Darth Vader may have been a lost cause, but everyone deserves a second chance or a second organ.